In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodland has begun. Part two, Azure Moon, Ethereal Moon, Reunion at Dawn. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodlan. Ferdiad has been captured, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlan, unified by imperial strength, may yet be in sight. You, how long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now! I'll coddle you no more! You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrig Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Um, are you feeling alright? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. I heard a rumor that Imperial troops went up there to investigate and got slaughtered. Every last one. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. 
Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. I do to be rid of you. I will kill that woman, I swear it! Do not look upon me with scorn in your eyes! No! You... It can't be! You're alive? <laughs> if that is the case, that can only mean you are another Imperial spy. Did you come here to kill me? Answer the question. <sighs> Am I? I have been dead, more or less. What do you hope to gain asking me that? There are more important matters at hand. Do you not smell them? Filthy rats everywhere! And traces of those who were here long ago. And thieves crawling from the woodwork, attracted by the promise of treasure. <laughs> Since the monastery fell, Order in this area fell right along with it. You must have seen the state of the town near Garrick Mach on your way here. Vile thieves run rampant. They pillage and loot to their heart's content. I must kill them. Every last one. It's time to hunt down their nest. I told you, I will kill them all. They must die. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Or do you condone their actions? Do you believe that the pillaging and slaughtering those rats live for is justified? It is reprehensible and they must be put down. I intend to give them a taste of the pain they have inflicted on others. Even if it means becoming a rat myself, I swore to at least do that much. I will not let them down. It doesn't matter. All that matters is killing those who deserve to die. Good work. I should have known to check the monastery. Let's move quickly. Yes, sir! Dimitri, I'm on my way. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Blathed to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, 
operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodland. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. It smells of blood and sewage. Seems I found their nest. What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! Alright, so free know. basic map. What's my strategy? So, yeah, what a huge difference in terms of story. Um, it's going to plan. In terms of what happened in these last couple of years, um, I'm not condoning. Dimitri or anything, but I don't know what's going on with him either. He looks defeated. Well, the eyes give away, but besides from that, he looks like he's seen this war. And it's almost haunting. It really is. I want to see more of the story. I'm very much intrigued. You're going to lock in cautions. Being a lot of our enemies. You're doing a pretty good job now, Dimitri. <laughs> oh, that missed. That's a good sign. I must leave them well. An antitoxin? I'd rather have a little worry. Okay, I thought he had the new weapon. Okay. Interesting. All talk and no action. Locking cautions. Still like thunder, bitch. Another victory. There we go. Ooh, silver sword. Um, is there a weapon to have? We won't run out as much as the air weapons. Hey! His Highness and Professor? We must speak later. Okay, hi Gilbert. <gasps> Ash! I know it's been five years. You'll but I never expected the monastery to end up like this. Mm-hmm. Mercedes! Oh, I haven't yes. seen any of you in such a long time. I'm so glad to see you're alive. Oh, thank you. Oh, and yeah. We'll come out from here. You look different too. Why? Why are you here? Because they made a promise all those years ago. Don't you remember? Pretty cool, yeah. I must leave them well. It's odd we have Gilbert because I don't remember him meaning. But okay. I'd be honored. 
We need to be a better archer this time around. I'm counting on you, Ash, but you look really different. Like a good different. Um, I don't know. Every second goes in lies in this moment. That's never good. At your service. I'm your girl. They've definitely changed, which I'm not just agreeing on. Ugh. Ash is level 26, okay. Oh, you're gonna regret that. So, oh, come on. I want to prove that you can regret that. But okay. Yay, level up! I'll you. Concoction? Um, oh, I'll get rid of that over a bummer. Over that an antitoxin? Ooh, but you're probably not doing an antitoxin. No, you deal with them. Be at peace. You deserve your vengeance. If you're sure, you're done. Did you get a critical? Oh, I do like her morning hair. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I can't wait to see Sylvain. I hope Sylvain has a goatee. I very much hope he has a goatee. <laughs> and I guess. And we're gonna go up here and then attack. Okay, you. Oh, critical! Thank you. Too weak for this world. Um. Okay, you're becoming kind of scary, Dimitri. <laughs> As I expected. Are you being good, Gilbert? I don't remember you being a unit. You were offered the promise. A door key. Okay, Gilbert has it. Now gets you now. Me. I was gonna say, and that's probably dead with her. Oh, why did you use an axe, you fool? Feel the wrath of thunder! Cause I, I am Thor! I put anything they in there. I'm Thor, Mother Hubbard! Don't you know my name? I am the Lord of Thunder. The spikey thing is. Don't you know? I was say, watch that fails. That'd be great. That's probably gonna hit. Nope, okay. Gotta use your head sometimes. Come on, miss. miss. Oh, we're poisoned. I just now realized that. Hmm. <gasps> Sylvain! Where's your goatee? Become a nest of thieves. Oh hey, Ingrid. You look different too. You look nice. First things first. Let's defeat these thieves. Okay. Felix? I'll lend a hand. Oh, you look you look worse. Listen up. How is that possible? There you go. Another victory. Ready when you are. There you go. What's the plan? This has been my most fulfilling work in recent years. That's probably what she's saying to herself. But what I like is that all the weapons are new themselves, so that's really great. Don't bother haunting me. Was it being like, what's my plan here? There we go. On my honor as a knight. And we attack. There we go. I'll let you have all these demons considering it's meant to be a small battle. But okay. Waiting. Um. I'll cut through. Yeah, she can break this wall. <laughs> there we go. Yep, we won. There's A's man. See, looks very elegant. As always. This is 
anything. Oh no, you did not. Well, now he's poison. That's great. I'm gonna try and skip. I'm just gonna skip. There are openings. I must pull through. I'm gonna retreat. Assist, psychic, there we go. Thank you. Um, but if I follow where Sylvain... Hey Sylvain! Destroy this guy! No! I'm not the one you want! Yeah. I guess I've got no choice! It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? You didn't plan on letting him get away, did you? Okay, so defeat the commander. Did you get it? Oh, I thought he ended this wall. Well, that's an enemy. I thought that was a wall. Sorry. Right. Next. That is my fault entirely. Let's go over here, wait. Wait, and you go in the spot. Any phase, I'm gonna fly the ship. What's my strategy? Oh no, I was gonna. I was not gonna use that, I was gonna fire, because I'd rather use magic than waste the sea lines or the crater. Burn! All is going to plan. Where do you? Wow. Oh. But he had a door key. Door. There we go. See you in the eternal flames. I just sneeze. I feel sick after sneezing. I feel nasty. Whew. One. Good job, Felix. You haven't earned me. Level up. Ooh, invasive ring. I mean, keep that on. Let me turn it this way. I think I'll let my turn now. Ah, you should yield me a tidy profit. I was gonna say, watch he dies. Mm. I must pull through. I was gonna say, I might kamikaze with Felix. Better work. I must lead them well. I'm gonna kamikaze with Felix. Is this my last stand? I uh, know. Uh, Ingrid, run away. Yeah, this seems right. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Your Highness! Professor! I'm so glad you're both safe. Why are you here? Did you forget? We all made a promise on this very day five years ago. Dimitri, weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here? Don't be silly. Of course you remember our promise. That's why you and the Professor are here, right? Your Highness, I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now. I am relieved to have finally found you. Do not call me that. I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. Huh? 
That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, Your Highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiat are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? He's dead. He died in my place. I see. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your Highness. As for the state of the kingdom, the lords from the western regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to kingdom territory as the Fargus Dukedom. They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the kingdom. Such is your duty. It is yours alone to bear, and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. I see. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven that we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. I think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened, odd as that is to admit. There is still much I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now. On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Seros have continued searching for her, and for you, I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No, never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. After that battle, a certain... incident took place in Ferdiad. Rufus, who was serving as King Regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. However... This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny it. Rufus is Prince Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Ah, but they were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. There are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia, do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. It was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With His Highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. 
True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed His Highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. An Imperial platoon attacked without warning. Incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Uh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with His Highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. Part 2. Azure Moon. Guardian Moon. The Delusional Prince. Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Saros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. You! So you were alive after all. Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you. But I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Gilbert has told us everything. From here on, our strength is yours as well. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe. Now that we have all gathered, let's discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives. To overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. The Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrig Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Surely those Imperial Jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. While it may be a strategic location, it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby, 
And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait. How carefree of you. It may sound trivial, but, well, I think it's a good idea. I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness, but patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. Stay out of this. Please, calm yourself, Your Highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Would it help if I brewed him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. As am I. Thank you. Alright, that's kind of... Actually, I want to test something before I'm like, yeah. Okay, that's odd, but okay. So, uh, have a good rest of your day. I hope you guys know this is double parts. Um, until then, that's it for me. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.